Today you are welcome to join me in a standoff between several satin finishes. By no meaning a complete battle of every satin varnish out there, but we will do that someday too. Today's first contender is Tamiya's LP5 Semi Gloss Black as a sort of a standard candle. I will thin it with Mr. Rapid Thinner so it does not dry into a glossy finish. As it can be expected the color saturation is excellent and the sheen is right where it should be in my opinion. After an hour of drying time I will mask a section of the paint mule so that we can spray the next contender in a way that it does not contaminate the rest of the part. And before I forget make sure you watch the video until the end and then post a comment with your pick for a winner of this contest. This time in the airbrush we have Tamiya's LP24 Semi Gloss Clear. There is a little bit of a caveat to it though. My jar is almost empty and I suspect that it has higher matting agent to clear varnish ratio due to insufficient mixing in the past. So as you will see it comes out rather flat. To counter that as much as possible I diluted the varnish with some leveling thinner. Next comes the Windsor & Newton Galeria Acrylic Satin Varnish, diluted with small amounts of water. There is a bit of a fisheye going on, but probably due to masking tape residue. I am hosing that on and will let it dry overnight. This is certainly a downside of this varnish. It takes some time to cure. I will leave one section of the original LP5 for better comparison. And the final contender will be from Amo by Mick in the form of Lucky Satin Varnish. This is by far the most temperamental in terms of application and if you hose it on it will most likely turn into almost gloss appearance. It needs very light layers to work properly. Just like with the previous acrylic varnish I diluted that with some water. Now let's see what kind of a result we have. Starting with LP5 Semi Gloss Black which is applied here and then here, one thing that may be not so noticeable, but this and this look slightly different. Maybe the only difference that I can think of is that this has been taped over several times, while well, this pretty much hasn't been. So the tape may have taken some of the sheen. And this is our baseline. Next up comes the Tamiya LP24 Semi Gloss Clear. As I mentioned previously, this may be more flat than it would be in a brand new bottle because now it looks quite flat and I don't think it qualifies to be a satin varnish. However, it is the easiest along with the LP5 to apply. It's very consistent, you can hold it on and when it dries it just gets a homogeneous finish which probably can be expected from a lacquer base paint. Next on the line is the Windsor & Newton Galeria Acrylic Satin Varnish. This one is a little bit grainier than I would like it to be. I don't know if you can make it out. But the sheen and the color saturation is pretty good. Barely distinguishable between the straight semi gloss black paint and the one covered with the satin varnish. This was also not so hard to apply apart from the issues with the fish eyes but this was on my end so I think that there is a potential in this varnish and finally we come to the Ammo by Mick Lucky Varnish, which is the shiniest of them all. Again, the color saturation is very good. It is a little bit shinier than the base LP5. And also, this uh, varnish is the most temperamental when it comes to application. If you hose it on it will get much glossier so some getting used to is due and I think 
Now it is a good moment for you to go in the comment section and let me know which one of these finishes do you prefer. Also I encourage you to suggest a varnish that you think will do better or good at least so we can do more encompassing broader spectrum analysis of the satin varnishes out there. As always, thank you very much for watching and until next time, happy modeling fellas!